Let's continue our series on hydraulic actuators, looking at this double acting non differential cylinder. So we see it's a double acting cylinder because there is a work port right here that allows oil to come in from the directional control valve to direct the oil against the piston on one side. And what's missing because of the cutaway, but I'll tell you where it is, the other work port comes in straight through the top here and it does the exact same thing, sends the oil in and through this port right here into and onto the other side of our piston. So because our piston is equal sized on both sides, the force created to go left and to go right will be equal. This is a very common cylinder to see as on a steering axle of a forklift. We would expect a forklift to steer at equal speed and equal force in both the left and the right directions. And so then this cylinder works really well for that. The other, so what we'll see is the high pressure seal, the steel rings on the piston are used to seal the cylinder. And as we send high pressure in on one side of the work port, pressure is built in on the other side, we will be able to drain out through this port here. What we can see on the end of this cylinder here is what looks like a fairly complicated housing right here. And what we're looking at is actually a control or a variable orifice. And what that variable orifice is for is not for the speed of the cylinder through its entire stroke, but only at the end of its stroke. And so we'll call it a cushion. So this cushion starts working right here. As the cushion on the piston itself seals off the major area, the large bore that was used to fill the cylinder with a lot of oil, it leaves only this small space on either side available for the oil to actually get out. And so what's able to happen then is you are able to adjust these screw positions to change the size of this orifice and that will change the speed that the flow is able to get out of the cylinder at the end of its stroke. And what that's going to do is slow down and prevent a hard impacting. So instead of having the hard impact, it'll come with speed, speed, and then slow down at the end for a soft finish. The build of this cylinder is quite serviceable in the fact that it has serviceable rods, cylinder heads that are held on with four nuts on either end. And so the cylinder head itself is able to be removed and resealed and then reinstalled.